my it's god. It's the most I Oh my god. Oh yeah! The convention center, paying for parking. Okay, we are here at the Vancouver Convention Center. It is February 18th, something like that. 18th, I don't know, but it is the Vancouver Fan Expo and I'm so excited that it's finally back because um, we haven't had this for like a few years now because of COVID and everything. It just hasn't been the same. I think the last one was in 2020. Yeah, we're always super excited. They always supply us with some media passes, which is really nice and kind of them. Um, we're trying to find the entrance. And uh, I think it's probably this way because everyone's walking this way. Um, yeah, we'll follow them, but it's pretty much what's going to happen today. We'll probably walk around. Will Ferdell, our favorite uh, from Boy Meets World, and Kim Possible is here this weekend, so that'll be really cool. And uh, a whole bunch of other things, so let's go. Um, let's go to the Vancouver Fan Expo. Spider Man No Way Home is out. Oh. Every single time you come to a Fan Expo or whatever, you're like, oh. What are you gonna look for? That might be what we're looking for this time. If you need more, that's true. Don't need anything more. Yeah. Honestly, watch me find something and I'll be like, oh, I didn't know I needed this. Boom! Boom, that was too fast, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, let's go! I just said Spider-Man No Way Home, and this is what we get. Oh, look at everything beautiful. Wow. Oh, look. We're gonna see over there later. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're like squishy. So we comple I completely forgot that like all the Disney Plus shows came out last year from WandaVision to Loki to the a Winter Soldier and everything and so of course everyone's dressed up as like the Disney characters, Avengers, Marvel, um, all that wonderful greatness. Um, so we're getting our ideas because we're going to be going to LA hopefully in September and uh, we're going to be going to Avengers Campus so that'll be really fun. Oh my god this is going to be enough of us we could do a costume the disney channel games <laughs> i also feel like years like a few years ago too they were like oh what guests do you want to see at the fan expo and like we spam we were like boy meets world we like want to see the boy meets world cast and then we get wilford l and we'll take it so and, uh, we gotta go find food <laughs> Hang on, these are always my favorite. The little crochet animals, are we kidding? Sorry, they're the best yeah, thing ever. Oh my God, the little squirrel. Oh, the best thing ever. We literally abandoned ship and we just came to go get uh, some fall. Hey, hey, schedules, man, schedules. schedules. Woo! Okay, I just found the sickest cosplay here at the Vancouver Fan Expo. Hi, I'm Haley and I'm cosplaying Kate Bishop from oh Marvel's God. Hawkeye. So good. Give us a twirl. Oh my gosh, it's so good! Oh my god! Shit, yeah. I don't know why this happens when we walk in. It's just our entrance, apparently. <laughs> also, you said there was deep fried Oreos? Yeah, I saw the sign. The oh. Sin City Donuts are here. Oh my god, deep fried Oreos are the best. Okay, so now we're finally sitting here. We're waiting for the big... Wow, that was really loud. I don't know if you can hear us. But we're here waiting for the Ming Na Wen uh, panel and I also want deep fried Oreos but I don't know if that's going to happen now or later but... Walking in the artist alley area. 
there's a lot of artwork, and this is probably one of the best parts of the expo. Uh, I'm very tired already, I don't know. We just sat and watched the panel and I can feel myself like glazing over because I forgot how much energy these events take and how many people there always are. There's but a lot of people. There's a lot of people. It's been a long time since we've done something like this. Yeah, but we're just gonna be walking around now. So woo. Look at it's a burning cat. <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. <laughs> I actually love all of these, these are so cool. Love it. It's the cute things that catch me. Like, like look at those. Oh, so cute. We're freaking out right now. We're freaking out. Will Friedel is right behind us. We're gonna meet Will Friedel. He's like, he's like watching us too. Oh my God. Can you be in the vlog with us? Oh my God, you should ask. Dude, I can. I don't even know why, like I'm still freaking out. It's fine. I don't think you understand. Like, plays with squirrels. Like, My name is Plays with Squirrels. Like, Ron Stoppable. That's Ron, R-O-N. Thank you. Okay, so we're next. We're next, okay. <laughs> plays with, it has to be played, look at this. It's the most I oh my god. We were like we were like, how do we meet Will? Like we need to cosplay, but like but like we didn't want to dress up like you literally and everything. It. It'd be great. You would have been hot all day. That's yeah, the problem with true. cosplay. It looks awesome, but you're like halfway through the day, you're like, oh man. Oh, yeah, man. 100 percent Plays with. Do you want it personalized? Sure, sure. yeah. 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 Who's it going to? Can we play both, both of us? Cars? Yeah, what's yeah. the name? Uh, Madison. Madison and, and Sydney. Sydney with the Y. Anyway, yeah. Sydney. Like that? Yeah. Thank yes. you. Yes. All right, here we go. Amazing. Hi guys, you're back. You found how have you been? been? I've been good. How are you doing? Good. We're so good. Are you from here? Yeah, yeah we are. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. I remember requesting like so many years in a row to make yeah. sure to have like Boy Meets World like cast members. Really? We, so I wasn't even, they, they didn't, like they called on Wednesday and they said we had a bunch of people that dropped out. Would you mind coming up here? Because I wasn't even supposed to be here. Yeah. So I was like, sure. So no, I was, when yeah. you found out you were coming, we were like, okay, we're, we're gonna be there. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna put, I married a moose. Oh my gosh, love it, love it. Oh love my gosh. I married a moose. <laughs> That's for you. Thank you so much. And are we taking much. a picture too? Yes, please. Yes. Got it. We are freaking out at this moment. We don't know really what to do. We got the plays with squirrels. Um, what did he say he wrote? Um, um, he wrote, I married a moose. He married a moose. Um, we're dying. I'm dead. We actually just met him. I'm like actually dead. But we were also like freaking out and we didn't know what to say. We probably could have said so much more. Um, but yeah, yeah. we're freaking out. <laughs> I like, I like honestly suck at meeting people because then you're like, I got this. And then you get there and you're like, uh. Yeah, no, I literally said to her. <laughs> nice. Nice. You got a cameo. No, we were freaking out because like, I was saying to Matt yesterday, I was like, I, I don't freak out with people anymore. But like Wilfred, Jesus, I died, I died, I died. Yeah, anyways, so now we'll walk that around. That happened. That happened. Highlight of the weekend? Yes. <laughs> We've been hustling all day, so we treated ourselves to a very- or Did we? Yeah, Have we been though? I don't know. We sat in a panel and then came out. And we're like, I'm tired. <laughs> but we lined up in a very long line and uh, we got our deep fried Oreos because we had Sustenance. to. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep at this point. Um, we're still freaking out over the fact that we met Will Friedel. You put the photo away, I was gonna be like. <laughs> His panel's tomorrow too. Oh yeah, and so in front of us too, this person was telling him about that they were excited about his panel for tomorrow. And he was like, oh, I'm doing a panel. So he didn't even know himself, but um, be fun. I'm excited. Be fun. Yeah, he's so chill. It was so fun. He's so nice. Yeah, he was really nice. Yeah, you're in danger. Oh. Just do it. You know you're gonna put it on your fireplace someday. The Sleeping Beauty Castle. It's a tiny Mickey Mouse, and the guy gave a discount too. Oh yeah. And then we just went to another one. And 
and it was like 20 bucks more, so. We got the steel. Oh yeah. Johnny Lawrence! Oh, it looks so cute. The best character on Cobra Kai, 100%. We have uh, an apron, which I'm wearing by design, but like the I material that I sell you is way better than what I'm wearing. Oh, and it has pockets. Goals, goals. And then the hoodie that my friend is sporting here says nervous in the front. And then please give space in the back. <laughs> And I am pretty proud of my hoodie quality, so you guys can feel free to feel oh, it. Wow. I love that. Yeah, that's awesome. And then next we have uh, Pug Jelly, which it's, it's just Pug Jelly. I, I, I can't add more to it. <laughs> we have more Sleep Pugly. Oh my god. <laughs> and then we just have a fake Pocket Tea Pugly. Oh, I love that. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is the Pugly Mart. This is the best thing ever. Okay, what are Literally, we I want everything, but I can't obviously not get everything. Same. So I'm the exact same. same. The, we're gonna get the bag because look, look at the endless pugs. Okay, and there's so many keychains. We gotta choose. We gotta choose. It has the little spinny. I know. Oh. Are you going with that one? But then also the boba one. Okay, I like that one. Do you want the boba oh, one? The right? boba one? <laughs> look at the boba butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the Pugly Mart. Yeah, how have you been doing? How's, how's KMR and all that? Oh my it's good. And when you're ready, tap that booty. Amazing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> please. Where? Oh my god, it's a booty. And We're living. You can turn it around for them too. <laughs> do you Seriously, need to receive email to you? Um, yeah, let's do that. All oh, right. The best booth yeah, we at the expo. The, the best booth. We got uh, a whole bunch of stuff at the Pug Mart. Pugly Mart. Um, we are done for today. Day one. Um, we're probably gonna do two days only. Uh, we'll probably be back tomorrow because Will has his uh, Q and A panel. Um, and then, yeah, today has been really good. Successful day. It has been. Um, I'm very shaky because this camera's very heavy now. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. That was a good first day or an exit. Oh. Christina! Okay. <laughs> she didn't, didn't hear me. She's gonna watch the vlog and see that I called her. Let's run. Oh! Ooh, that's cute! Yeah. When they originally came out, I was like looking and I kept missing the drops and they would sell out so fast. Yeah. And then the guy... good price? Yeah. Was... As I was saying, we are done for the day. Tired? It was a good day though. Very good day. Very fun and I miss all of this. The Pugly Mart, our favorite. <laughs> but yeah, it was a very long day. Very nice to be back to some sort of normalcy. Um, I'm gonna go get some food now. Yay! Day two. Well, we are here. We're just having breakfast at Tap and Barrel. We were running behind the schedule because we wanted to go to Narrows again, but we went and they were like, it's an hour wait. And we're like, okay, guess not. <laughs> so, look at this wonderful view. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Um, so we're gonna get some uh, breakfast and then we're gonna go catch Will's panel. Hopefully they don't forget about us. We're the only ones in here. I don't know if you could tell what our outfits are or cosplay vibe is today, but if you know, let us know. <laughs> that is pretty much it. Let's eat. A few moments later. We finally have our food. Thank you. When you get a second, can I get some more coffee? We are on our way inside. We are pretty much twinning. Um, the panel is in like 15 minutes, so hopefully we can find a seat. And uh, woo! Loves doing the Feeny call. Mr. Feeny? Mr. Feeny! Mr. Feeny! Mr. Feeny! <laughs> Gave it to the girls on Girl Meets World, so it is officially theirs. They're the only ones who can do it now. <laughs> My favorite time on Boy Meets World, that's tough because we all grew up together, so we had some pretty amazing moments together. But the, the time that always pops out to me when I think about it is we did one episode that we called it the Scream episode, but, but it was called And Then There Was Sean. It's the Halloween episode. Something horrible is about to walk in that door right now. 
Howdy ho! <laughs> it's the only episode we did of the entire series where we didn't have an audience. We shot it all week long, we shot it like a movie, and we just tried to make each other laugh the whole time. So if you watch the episode, somebody's cracking up throughout the entire thing. And we couldn't get anything done, and we, Matt Lawrence had just really joined the cast, and we like kind of bonded as a cast uh, on that episode. So that's kind of the thing I remember the most. And the manifesto will always be lose one friend, lose all friends, lose yourself. You know, we talk to each other all the time about what we're kind of gonna do. Ryder Strong is still one of my best friends in the world. Danielle is one of my best friends. She literally lives, she's my neighbor. Um, so uh, Trina, I mean, we, we see and talk to each other all the time. The thing we're talking about actually, which we're discussing, we're not sure people would want us to, but we, we haven't watched the show since it was on the air. So we were thinking of doing a watch along where everybody got to kind of watch the show with us. Yeah. We thought that would be interesting if we kind of all got together and watched the show again and let people come and watch the show with us because we haven't seen it since it aired. Kidding, that was just kind of like Ron Sapo right there. There we go. Booyah! Like every, like any, anything else, the producers, directors, writers, everybody kind of watches what's happening on television at the time. And Dawson's Creek had come out and become hugely popular and was very serious. So they took Corey, Corey Sean, Topanga, Angela, and they kind of went far more serious with them. And then they said, well, we have to lighten it up somehow. So Eric became Eric, where he's, you know, hiding in a couch. So that's really what, why the show changed. And then when people ask me, well, why did Eric change so much? There's two theories that I've heard, both of them good. I like one of them better than the other. So the first theory I heard, which is very well thought out, is that Boy Meets World is from the point of view of Corey Matthews. So when Corey's young, he sees his brother as the cool older brother who's always dating people, but, but as he gets older, he starts to see his brother as more of a buffoon. So he becomes more of a buffoon in his eyes. Cool theory, well thought out. My favorite theory is there's an episode where Eric is actually trapped in a car in a uh, blizzard and he's slamming his head against the window to get out and he causes brain damage. <laughs> that's actually, cause like right after that he starts to change. So that's actually the theory that I like is that he, he actually did something to where he's a different guy now, yeah. Um, that's what people have written about. Those wow. are the two theories I've heard the most about that. Uh, that people write about is that the, those two theories. So interesting ones. Hello. Hi, Will. Hello. My name is Madison. Um, How are you? Nice to see you again, Madison. Hi, nice to see you again. <laughs> I'm a huge Boy Meets World Kim Possible fan. I was going to say you're dressed like KP. That's right. <laughs> um, and I just want to ask because like there's so many iconic moments that have like really brought light light to my life growing up, oh, and I want to know what are like your top moments out of the iconic ones. Like there was the naked mole rap. Good looking guy. I mean, the one that always, as sad as it is, the one that pops in my head the first is doing the last scene on Boy Meets World. Um, we recorded that once. We filmed it once, and, and that was it. We could, none of us could do it again. We were all crying. I mean, you have to understand, this is this was our life for seven years. And then Thursday night, we were all together again, and you wake up Friday morning, and it's over. Yeah. Um, so it was. That was very, very tough. Um, but it was a wonderful moment for us because we were all in our own different ways. We were all ready to move on. Ryder really wanted to go to college. I was gonna be starting another show on NBC. Um, so we were all ready to go other places. But it was still all of us saying goodbye to Bill Daniel. I mean, we were saying goodbye to Mr. Feeney and there was no acting because we were saying goodbye to each other and to Bill. Um, it really mirrored Ryder's life. I mean, Ryder was literally leaving like two days later for New York to go to school, just like on the show. Plays with Squirrels is always a ton of fun. The Naked Mole Rap, you mentioned, I mean, the Naked Mole Rap, there, there's so many things you don't realize how important they're going to be when you do them. You know, it was Mark and Bob who, who, who created the show called and said, you're gonna be doing a rap song. And I went, what? And they said, yeah, you know, he's gonna get up there and rap. We're gonna send you the tape. We've already written it, uh, you know, written it, so. Just listen to it, and that's right everybody, I said tape. Um, <laughs> listen to it as we're going, and then by the time you'll get there, you'll record it and start recording, and that kind of blew up on Radio Disney and became a huge thing. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things. The first time that Christy and I were in the room together, you know, for the pilot was, was important to me, and um, it, this sounds so weird, but 
some of the, the best moments of Kim Possible are happening now. So, like, we will go to conventions and somebody, like, especially when we're together, somebody will bring their daughter who's three, who's dressed like Kim Possible. And it's like, there you go, it's a whole nother generation, whole new generation because of Disney Plus, whole new generations of Boy Meets World fans and Girl Meets World fans. And to see something that's lasted, it's almost like those moments are, are so important now, like, because we get to look back. The first day in Girl Meets World, I, I was watching the kids, they were kids at the time, and Ryder and I were standing there and he nudged me and he went, that's us. We're pretty much wrapped up for today. It was a really short day because we were just, uh, she watched the panel, I had to leave for a quick second. We just walked around a little bit more. Uh, there's some extra booths happening today. Uh, we just talked to Will again and just like, thank you for coming out and having such a fun weekend. Um, that's pretty much it. Anything you want to say? Have fun! Yay! Fun. And we bought something for Trev too, but that's for him. Um, yeah, can't wait for the next convention. If Oh my god, maybe our next convention is the Disney one actually. That's gonna be pretty big. We're planning our outfits right now. Super excited. I hope they go through. Uh, but I guess maybe see you at D23. Woo! Also, just thank you Fan Expo because you guys are always so good to us and giving us some passes to come here. So thank you, it was so much fun. Thank you.